Okay, so today we have Windmills of Your Mind, uh, Noel Harrison version. I'm not sure who wrote it, but um, this is the one my student wishes to learn, and it's, it's a beautiful song. Uh, it's a piano piece, um, and the piano arpeggios for the chords change regularly from ascending, descending, all sorts. And there's a lot of different qualities of chords in there. So this lesson is basic open position chords. I think there's one. F sharp minor in there in the third verse and we're going to use two patterns for the right hand to keep it simple because as uh, Pat, de Lucia, Pat de Lucia said the left hand is the imagination and the right hand is the mechanics okay so we're going to do the first verse with a simple pattern uh, and the second and third verse when the drums come in on the song we're going to change the pattern to Play a little bit of it. So let me show you the right hand finger patterns first. So pattern one, as always we plant our fingers on the strings, let me get a good angle there for you. So the pattern is 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2. And we're going to go like this, 6 with the thumb, 4 with the thumb, 3 index, uh, 2 middle, 1 ring, and then back to thumb. Index, middle, four, three, two. Now, because it's an ascending arpeggio, always plant your fingers. See, so if I, I put my fingers back on, I stop, stop that from ringing out there, which I didn't really want to do, but if you start here, then... You know, we'll get the... On, we'll, we'll know we're on the right string if we plant the fingers properly. So that's the first pattern, that's pattern one. That's for the first verse and for a couple of chords at the very end. Uh, the second pattern is six, four, one and two together, three. And that's half a bar, that's two beats. So we do that twice. So it would go finger wise thumb, thumb, ring in middle, index on the third. Simple pattern. Now, the only thing that changes with these patterns is it uh, dependent upon the chord. So if the chord, if the root of the chord, say for instance, is an E minor, the uh, initial note, the first beat, would be the six. But if it's, uh, if it's an A minor, the initial note would be a five, the fifth string, okay? So our chords, um, we are in four, four time, standard tuning. Okay, so I'm going to get a good angle there for you. It's often better to do that. I've got to learn how to edit videos. Eh? So, E minor. Right, so we're starting from an E minor. Right. Then we go to a B7. So keep your second finger where it is. Add your third finger to the second fret, third string. Fourth finger, second fret, first string. And first finger, first fret, fourth string. It's a B7. Then we'll go back to the E minor, so all we need to do is just again keep the second finger in position, put the third finger back to the second fret on the fourth string. Then it's an E dominant seventh, so we lift our third finger off, put the first finger on the first fret of the third, right? Now the next one's an A minor seventh, so keep that shape, just drop it to the fourth and second. Okay? Now here to a D7, keep your first finger where it is. Drop your second finger to the third string and your third finger to the first string. Now here at G7, come forward, let your first finger drop to the first string on the second fret. Add your second finger or your third finger, whichever is more comfortable, to the third fret on the sixth. C major seven. You must know a C chord if you're doing these videos. And our major seven, we'll just lift up our first finger. 
Now, to get to an A minus six from here, again, pivot on your second finger. Tuck your third finger underneath, add your first finger to the first fret on the second string, and then your fourth finger to the second fret on the first string. It's an A minus six. Now, to get to a B minus seven, we can leave our third and fourth fingers where they are, put the second finger on the second fret of the fifth string, and the first finger on the first fret of the fourth string, back where we are. Now the B flat diminished seventh, all we want to do is think about switching our first and second fingers around, like that, and I'll make it a seventh. I think it sounds nicer like that, okay? So we were in the B seventh, the dominant seventh, so I'm going to switch those first and second fingers around and then add my third to the second string. And then we'll go back to a B7 for the end of the verse. So that's the first verse, okay? So that with the pattern goes E minor. B7. Now I should probably say it there. So we've got two bars of E minor, two bars of B7. So you'll notice that the thumb on the E minor is on the 6, so I'm beginning 6. When I switch to the B minor 7, I go to the 5th. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, okay? So whenever the root of the chord is on the 5th string, the thumb begins on the 5th string. Whenever it's on the 6th string, we begin on the 6th string, okay? So let me start that again. Oh, and, and of course, if we're doing anything on the 4th, we D7. We start from the fourth, but we do have to change, for the D7, we have to change the pattern slightly. The pattern would be four, three, two, three, one, four, two, three, to keep it similar, okay? Or if you're doing bar chords, you can keep the same pattern and just do it. It sounds quite peculiar to go up there from. You know, it's better than this. Closer, closer up to okay? Okay, so let's start that first verse again. I'll talk, it's the pattern one from the beginning of the video and I'll talk you through the chords, okay? So it's E minor. I'll do it very slow as well. E minor. Second verse is exactly the same chord progression, but we change to the second pattern. Okay, again, from the beginning of the video. So just about to remind you here. Uh, six, four, two and one together, three. And repeat, six, four, two and one together, three. Six, four, two and one together, three. Same chord progression. So let's start, E minor. Progression first. Two bars of E minor. Then we'll go to an A minor 7. Okay, it's like an A minor without the third finger. To a D7. To a G7. Now here's probably best to use your third finger because the next chord is a G dominant 7. Okay, you can put your finger there if you want, but we're not actually using that note. Uh, C major 7. To an F sharp minor 7. Now from the C major 7, if you just Pull your third finger forward to the fourth fret and add the bar to the second fret. That gives you that. Now remember with your bars, you don't even need your thumb, so don't push with your thumb. Right? If you push with your thumb, your hand's going the wrong way. Use your elbow. Drop your elbow. See? Don't even 
the Ephesians song. It's all about how you drop your elbow. Use gravity. Where am I? F sharp minor 7. Okay, and then here to a B minor. Again, if you don't know that chord, we've just finished the F sharp 7 there. I would drop my third finger to the fourth string, tuck my fourth finger underneath that, and my second finger goes to the third fret and the second string. E dominant 7th. A minor. D7. G major 7. C major 7. Now, that's with the pattern 2. At this point, what we'll do is we go, when we get to the A minor 6, we'd go to single strums. And then a B dominant 7. Single strums. And then we bring back in pattern 1 for the next part of the chord progression, which is 2 A minor. And then 2 of the B7. With pattern 1. And then we. For the end of the song, we go back to B flat dominant, uh, sorry, diminished seventh, single strums, E minor on a single strum, B7 on a single strum, and then to finish, we do pattern one, three bars, and slow down on the third, and a single strum will finish the, finish the tune. Okay, so let me play that uh, third verse for you. Good angle. That'll do. All right, so it's a E minor. A7, D7, G7, G dominant 7, C major 7, F sharp uh, 7, and then B minor, B7, A minor. I'm using uh, the chords from Ultimate Guitar version 1, if you want to use that one, with my uh, instruction, feel free, it's the internet, do what you want. Uh, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, yeah, be putting some more up soon. Just had a little break from the builder, so I've got managed to put one in now. Uh, yeah, happy practicing. Any comments, feel free. And I am an online guitar teacher, so if you would like face to face lessons, uh, there are links in the description below to my website. Have a great day.